Yes, yes, guys, this is Nitty Last, and welcome. In this video, what we're going to be doing is talking about a little bit hypothetical question, guys. It is going to be the question of what happens if there was no KD in Call of Duty. Yep, you took KD out, so there's no kill to death ratio that you can see, none of your players can see, it's not logged or anything else like that. The only thing you have is your win or your loss. Now, if we took that out of the game, would it change the way that people play? Now, let's take this in for instance, okay? You've got Team Deathmatch, Free For All, maybe Search and Destroy. Now, with those game types, okay, your kill to death ratio is a big thing because the amount of kills that you get to the less deaths obviously is going to help win the match, no end. But let's take it to the objective based game modes. Now, this is the problem that you know a lot of games you do have you know you're trying to play the game now you're playing against people that are, say on your equal level you know especially with advanced warfare with the skill based matchmaking they par you up against another team that's pretty much on the same level par as you now you're trying to capture b say but you know you get a fought back no one can capture it grenades are flying in and whatnot else but then you get a lot of people then it will just want to sit back they don't want to do nothing this is destroying my kd Let's wait for everyone else to try and capture it for us. So say that the opposite team then capture it. But no one wants to go and get that actual point. They don't. They want to hover around. Sometimes people go for A and C. Sometimes that does work out, that little trick. You go and catch the other one. It pulls them out the other side. And that way you can uh, go back for B because they're all trying to get back onto A and C again. But the thing is, is that a lot of the time, a lot of people are too afraid to go onto the hard point onto the domination points or anything else like that for the fear of being shot and ruining their KD. Now, I know for a lot of times that it's people are trying to build up their score streaks or what else. If you're especially if you're near the high end of one, maybe near up to say like your mothership for Black Ops 3 or something like that in the future, you know, you don't want to be reckless. You don't want to be going jumping on a point where you need a couple of hundred points or whatever and risk being shot in the back or anything else like that. I totally understand that. And I know there's a lot of people that say that they can just jump on a point and still kill plenty of people, drop shot and whatnot else. And that's fair enough. That really is fair enough. But a lot of people won't do that because they, one, they don't feel comfortable about doing it, and two, they're just not interested in those points whatsoever, that all they want to do is try and cover them, like with an assault rifle, maybe a sniper rifle, something like that, try and keep their KD as high as possible, you know, and just try and play in that safe little role. Now, if we took kill to death ratio out the game whatsoever, so there's no KD, the only thing that matters was to win. How many people would change the way that they played and jumped onto those points and help win the game? Because I've been in plenty of games where I've lost where half my team are just not doing absolutely nothing. For the fear of just being shot and their KDs and wallet else being ruined, that they're just not interested. So if you could just take the whole thing out, would people change their style of play? Now, that's what I want to put to you guys. I personally think that if we didn't have KD the whole style of play would change quite a lot. I really, really do. I think a lot of people's mindsets would change. Don't get me wrong, we still have DNAs or I say like nukers, whatever, people would still be trying to use domination, obviously, for game modes like that, not trying to catch the points because they didn't want to run them up just so they could try and get a DNA bomb. But, you know, if you took it all out, I think a lot of people would change their ways. And it'd be very interesting to see how many people would then say, well, you know, no one can see my KD. I can't compare my KD. I can't go, oh, I've got a 1-2. And we we'll go, well, I've got a 3-4. That means I'm better than you. Because technically, it doesn't mean you're better than anyone else. I mean, if you're running a 3-4 KD, you just be honest. So a lot of the times, 9 times out of 10, that means you're playing against people of less skill level than you. Now, if you're playing a less skill level than you, how does that make you a better player? Just because you're running a three and a four. Because let's be honest, the amount of people that join lobbies realize that other people in there have got a good KD or they've got a score per minute or something like that. And they hop out that lobby trying to find a lot of the lobby with a different set of players in it. Now, that happens quite a lot as well. So, what I'd like to know, guys, is your views on this. Would you think that people would change the way they play if there's no KD in Call of Duty whatsoever. Leave it in the comment section 
below. Contact me on Twitter because it would be very interesting to see. Because let's be honest, it's never going to go anywhere. It's just a little hypothetical question I thought I'd chuck out there. But guys, as you can see coming up on my screen now, it's my subscribe button. If you could please click on that and if you could drop a like on this video, support my channel, that would be absolutely amazing. This is Nidhi Lassen. I'll catch you later.